Hello everyone, I'm Gongshan from Carnegie Mellon University. Today I'm going to present our work of upgrading optical flow to 3D seam flow using optical expansion. Estimating the 3D motion of dynamic seam elements is important for autonomous robots, including aerial drones and ground vehicles. This can be cast as a problem of molecular 3D seam flow estimation. In the left video, it is challenging to tell whether the hawk is moving towards the drone just from the 2D flow. However, optical expansion reveals the changes in depth of seen elements. Things moving closer will get bigger. In this paper, we propose an approach of upgrading optical flow to 3D seen flow by estimating optical expansion. Estimating the 3D motion using a molecular camera is challenging. A given 2D flow vector can be back projected to infinite pairs of 3D points. Intuitively, a close-by object moving slowly will generate the same 2D flow as a faraway object moving fast. Previous methods rely on strong prior assumptions, either in the form of rigid body motion prior or learned molecular depths. Instead, we derive a simple geometric relationship that allows us to recover up to scale 3D motion from 2D flow. Human perception informs us that perceptual sizes on the object corresponds to its depth. Seeing elements that move closer to the camera project to a larger apparent size. Specifically, assuming an orthographic camera and non rotating seeing elements, relative changes in its image scale correspond exactly to relative changes in depth. Recall there are two degrees of freedom specifying all 3D vectors consistent with a given 2D optical flow. By inferring change in depth, we eliminate one degree of freedom. This produces a family of candidate 3D flow vectors facing the same direction but with different scales. By specifying the depth of one point in the correspondence pair, one can resolve the final ambiguity. Various approaches can be used to specify that depth, including stereo, sparse LiDAR, or even a molecular depth network. We implement our approach at the multi-stage neural network. Given the frame pair, our method produces 3D scene flow along with several intermediate representations. First, we estimate optical flow using the off-the-shelf flow network. Then, we analytically compute an initial estimate of optical expansion by fitting dense local affine warps in the optical flow maps using a convolutional layer. We visualize the scale component of the affine transform in grayscale. As mentioned earlier, the expansion corresponds to changes in depth given an orthographic camera. We then upgrade expansion estimates to actual changes in depth with a lightweight refinement network and combine it with optical flow to produce an up-to-scale scene flow vector, which can be upgraded to the full 3D flow by specifying the depth in one of the two frames using other application-specific methods. The networks are trained jointly in the multi-task L1 loss with existing optical flow and scene flow datasets. When one choose flow is not available, the expansion network can also be trained with false metric loss. Now we show experiment results. For the task of molecular seam flow, we use an off-the-shelf molecular depth network to predict the depth at frame 1 and use it to upgrade to full 3D. Similarly for stereo seam flow, we use a stereo matching network to predict depth of frame 1 and upgrade to full 3D seam flow. We visualize the estimated relative depth changes and compare to prior approaches that warps the second frame depth to the first frame using optical flow. Our method produces more accurate motion in depth and state-of-the-art steam flow performance on foreground objects of the key data board. We then turn to LiDAR steam flow. We use a molecular image pair to compute up to scale steam flow and use the depths of the first LiDAR sweep to upgrade to 3D steam flow. Our method achieves better performance than state-of-the-art methods that directly process two LiDAR sweeps. Also, because global shutter cameras can be triggered much faster than a rotating LiDAR sensor, our method predicts 3D scene motion before the next LiDAR sweep can be captured. Finally, we explore two-frame structure from motion with predicted up to scale scene flow. We jointly estimate the camera motion and scene geometry. To do so, we feed our up to scale 3D flow estimates into an iterative solver, similar to bundle adjustment, that minimizes the 3D error. We are able to produce dense and reliable depths without strong priors using dense motion in depth estimates. Welcome to our paper for more details.